Esters are organic compounds that contain the ester group, which is a carbon that is double bonded to an oxygen and also single bonded to an oxygen with two separate carbon chains that go off in separate directions. When a compound contains this ester group, it is said to be an ester and gets the suffix in two words, YL and NO8. And it's important to be able to identify which part gets which suffix. So the first thing that you need to do is identify the ester functional group when naming a molecule. And here we can see that we have the ester functional group. We can see that this is broken up into two parts. There's one part of this molecule that is attached only by a single bond to the oxygen. That is always seen as the branch to this ester and as a result comes first and gets the suffix YL. So in this case that is two carbons, meth eth. So we would call this ethyl, ethyl. This is also two words and the second part of this compound is three carbons attached to that ester group which ends in that carbon-oxygen double bond and that three carbons gets the prefix prop and suffix NO8. Once again, as a result of the structure of this, it is not necessary to name where this takes place or given number. We can do that with one more example. We first identify the ester functional group and then we identify the part of that functional group that is attached by a single bond to the oxygen. In this case, we can see that that is a five carbon chain, which means that the part that gets the suffix YL is meth, eth, prop, but, pent. So we would call this pentyl. And then the part of this compound that is attached to the double bonded oxygen is always the main part and that gets the suffix NO8, meth, eth, prop, but. So this would then be correctly called pentyl butanoate.